Hello viewers, today I come to you with another expansion of my FreePBX phone system. This time we're in the basement family room, and um, the phone we have today is a Cisco SPA525G. Um, this is part of Cisco's SPA series, or Sephora Phone Adapter series, because Originally, these were made by Sapura, as well as the ATAs, and then Sapura got acquired by Linksys, and Linksys got acquired by Cisco. So anyway, um, as you can see, it's titled Family Room. Um, I have two extensions coming to it, and... I mean, if you've used a Spa Series phone before, you probably may recognize how this works. So, as you can see, I can make a phone call. Let me grab my... So, I have this here. So I'm connected. If I, I can make a call to it. And I'm connected. So, yeah. I mean, the basic phone functions work. Um, now, if you're wondering, you might have saw, seen this earlier. This is the power supply for it. You know, you've seen this before. This used to power my Yealink T46S, but I got a PoE switch, and this kind of went into as a as a. Um, just a spare part that I had, and so right now it's being used to power this. But as you can see, there is no ethernet plugged into it. This is just power. This is for Vita. So something that I, the reason that I got this phone is because it has Wi-Fi. Um, so it is connected wirelessly. Um, to the PBX. Um, into the network. I have tried to set the background, but it hasn't pulled down the background yet, so I don't know what that problem is. Anyway, um, yeah, so it's just Dell in the ba default background. Um, so let's go some through the menu options here. We have directories, call history, speed dials, call recordings, mp3 player, web applications, user preferences, network config, device admin, and status. So some of these are pretty much the same as what you, some of those are what also appears on my 8845 that's been converted to multi-platform because the firmware on this phone and the firmware on those probably has a common lineage. Now, something about that's interesting about this phone. I think if we're, where do I find it? Device administration. So if I go into call control settings, this actually can do skinny call control protocol. So the protocol that the, the mainline Cisco 7900 series phones talks, uh, sk skinny as well, I think a few of their other phones talk, um, and then their media gateways and stuff, um, this supports it. So I don't know if this supported being registered to a CUCM, because um, that's the only one that I can really think of, the mainline systems that use skinny. Um, I mean, Asterisk can use Skinny with a module, but I don't have that module set up. 
So, yeah, let me go over the product information. You can see all this. Interestingly, one of the things this has is web applications. Now, these don't work right now because this phone actually isn't connected to the internet. Um, it just only has a local internet connection or a local network connection. Uh, and I'm not gonna go into that, but yeah, but technically you could set up, so like for news, you could set up an RSS feed that it pulls from. I don't know where it pulls weather from, to be honest. Um, but yeah, um, and as for the, it also has, so it has a USB port on the top, let's go over the ports on this thing, a, uh, the smaller headphone jack, not 3.5 millimeter, but whatever was smaller, the smaller one, um, and then on the back we have our DC barrel jack, um, the input for PoE and e internet, and then the PC port, and if you pop this guy off, you also get the slot for the KEM. Now, I've thought about getting a KEM for this, because I think that would be interesting, um, having at least one of my phones with a KEM, um, because this is one of the ones that actually supports the KEM anyway. So, maybe I'll get one of those? I don't know. Um, I don't think of what else to say about this. Um, oh yeah, uh, it doesn't have the regular uh, Cisco headset jack on the back, which probably is and this is in place of that. Um, which I'm not complaining about because I'm these are this is easier to find an adapter for than the headset adapter because it's not just a standard handset pinout. But anyway. trying to think of anything else that I want to say about this. I don't know. It's a very nice phone, I feel like. Um, you can get them on eBay for, if you look, you can probably get them for cheap. Because um, these are starting to get up there in age. Um, this one, because I think these are also part of the 7900 series, technically. Because I think if you look at the 7900 series webpage, um, these also do make an appearance on that page. Now, again, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm thinking. But anyway, um, if you want a phone that, you know, uses Wi-Fi, or has Wi-Fi capability and that sort of thing. Oh, with the DC barrel jack, so I did try to use my Yealink power supply because I do have a Yealink power supply. In fact, that was what powered the T46S before. I got another PoE adapter and uh, what else? Um, so I tried that, but I don't think that was powering enough because like if the speaker came on or if this rang or whatever and it was too loud it would reboot the phone so i'm guessing the power supply was over there was like over current protection or something and that turned off i don't think i'm gonna have that problem with this thing to be honest these have worked excellently and i really do like the build quality of these because i mean these are just metal Like, yeah, they're basically enclosed in metal all around. Very nice. Um, so I'll put a link to them down in the description. Sorry, I'm kind of rambling. But 
anyway, um, thank you for watching and have a good day. Uh, if you like, want to support the channel, um, there will be affiliate links in the description for like this, this maybe, I don't know. Um, depends on what I get around to, but anyway, thank you for watching and have a good day.